Hi, I'm Nick from Landscapes WA. Today we're here at a local primary school building a veggie planter using the Midland Brick Heathstone product. So the benefits of this product is that it's a mortarless product, you don't need cement, and one person can build it in a day. The tools we'll need for this project are a long straight edge, a set square, a tape measure for the initial set out, a rubber mallet, a shovel for excavating, and just another shovel for moving of the sand and preparing of the area, gloves, and obviously the blocks. You also need a compactor, which you can rent from any good machinery hire store. Another product you'll need is cracker dust or road base, which you can get from your local soil yard. So if you're unsure of how much road base you'll need, just take the measurements of the area down to your local soil yard and they'll tell you what you'll need. Here's our site today. We've had to pull up some paving prior to starting and we've excavated the soil out to 100 mil to get our road base in. Once you've excavated to 100 mil, then it's time to start bringing in your road base. You just need to get a rough level. It's good to keep it pretty consistent, but you don't have to be perfect at this point. Once you've got your rough levels, then you can get your hose and just give it a light water for compaction. Just a sprinkle and that will be enough. Grab your level to start screeding the area to get a nice flat level surface. Just make sure the width of the base is ample room so that you can fit your block on. Probably 50 mil extra either side of the block is plenty. And as you go, keep checking your level so that you can transfer that nice level surface over the whole area. Once you've got your rough levels, bring your compactor in, run over the area a couple of times, and then it's ready for screeding. It's a good idea to keep going back and double checking that you are still level. Once we've screeded the area, we're ready for the fun part, which was laying the blocks. We start in the corner and Today we're lucky we've got a fence that we can work off, so keep measuring off that fence so that we've got a consistent line. So it's very important to get the corner blocks in first to get that right angle. And from that point, you can start laying the rest of the wall. So once you've got a few blocks in, it's a good idea to get your straight edge out and make sure that the blocks are running straight. Just remember when you're lifting these blocks to bend your legs and use the correct technique for lifting so that you protect your back. It's a good idea to go back and just double check everything using your spirit level and your straight edge. So depending on the height of the wall and the soil type it's being installed on, you may need to fill the voids and the cores with some more of the road base we used earlier. Check the website to see what requirements are for the infill of your wall. For the wall we're building today, we don't need to do the infill, but for the purpose of the demonstration, we'll show you how to do it now. Now you can move on to your second course, starting with your corner block just keep checking that everything's straight and level. So far so good, we're on to our third course and now we're ready for the capping. To get a nice neat finish, you will need to do some measuring and cutting. Run your set square hard up and run it from your outside corner to your inside corner so you get that perfect 45 degree angle. If you don't have access to a brick saw, most machinery hire places will have them available for rent. And if you're not comfortable with cutting, most machinery hire places will be able to do that for you. When you're installing your capping, just make sure that the front edge is flush with the rest of the wall and that the locking ridge at the back is lining up as well. So from here, we're gonna fill the plants with some good soil and plant some fruit trees. So hopefully the kids get plenty of use out of the trees and the planter boxes for the years to come. For any more information on the Heathstone product, follow the link on the screen to the Midland Brick website.